Good morning. Today we have a, I think it's a 1986 Johnson 50. Uh, used to be that oil induction or whatever, VRO. But uh, I removed all that and just put a traditional carburetor on. And we have to pull the lower unit because the lower unit's taken on water and it needs to be rebuilt. And I'm told that little hex nut there, pointing to the left at an angle, has to be removed to disconnect the gear shift. And you gotta keep that where it is so it shifts right when it goes back together. Uh, all I'm gonna do is pull the lower unit and then take it to a boat store and have it redone rather than drag the whole boat there uh, it might be easier for me and the uh, boat guy so I'm debating whether to pull the starter it might just be easier to pull the starter but uh, we'll see what happens here in a few minutes so we'll be back in a minute well taking the starter off does kind of open things up a little bit I could, uh, this, this little gizmo here, I put that on when I took off the uh, VRO oil system. I could clean that up, make it even a little shorter, or just take it off, make it easier to uh, finagle that. There it is. I don't know what's going on with the focus, but um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out here in a minute and get a better picture. Well, this is what happens to me. I always get backlogged. I took that little uh, business out that was there, you know, with the cap screw and the rubber hose, and just put an eighth-inch uh, brass plug in there. So now that clears up the runway here pretty good to uh, remove that 516 bolt. And uh, or maybe it's a 716 uh, head, quarter inch bolt. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Take that out and then uh, do the underneath. And uh, in theory, the lower unit should just pull right off. I'll let you know how that works. So here we go. Look at there. The lower unit's off. Uh, I put that little strap around there. I had it started off and I'm kind of weak and decrepit so I had a buddy come out and we pulled it off. Um, pretty simple. I'm sure most of you guys maybe have done it. You got to take this trim tab off to get to a bolt. Uh, which one is it? This one here. Leave that one in because that just holds that eye diode or iode or whatever that is. This one is a bigger, this is a, I think 1116, and everybody else was, is either 5.8 or, I don't know. It's a bigger bolt than the ones across here. They're using 916. And they tell me, I'm going to take this unit like it is down to the boat store. So I don't have to take the whole boat. But they say, I don't have a good way to measure this. So I'm going to, I don't know tape a pencil or something across here so this does not turn and these things they come out I don't know if they're supposed to be on top or maybe down here no matter that's the boat stores problem from now on so new water pump check out the lower unit uh, I don't think it needs gears or anything I don't think it's bent. It doesn't seem to, you know, wander much. So I think it's just seals and a water pump. So, well, I'll do this again when we put it back together. Okay, have a great weekend.